Hello everybody, this is DOS37 um, and this is the first episode of Dave's exploration and explanation of Minecraft mechanics. So what I will do uh, in these series or episodes is that I will explain to you uh, different aspects the game and um, yeah you will see a lot of cool stuff that you can do and um, s utilize so let's skip down right to the business this episode is about fire and flammability and spread so what you see here is all the flammable stuff in Minecraft. Uh, planks, woods, leaves w and wool. And yeah, you're right. Bookshelf. So, proof of concept. Damn you, start burn. all these burn I will uh, speed it up this up in the editor because this is boring to look at and yeah when I say editor I mean the video uh, editor. Okay, so you saw that it burned. Then we have these three kind of special um, blocks. First it's the netherrack found in the nether. This has the special property that it burns forever. Uh, it never stops burns. I actually don't know what's happen if it starts to rain so let's test this that out well netherrack burns in rain so that's kind of cool then we have, and yeah, it never stops. Then we have ice, who has the special property that it melts when uh, close to heat. It doesn't burn, it just melts if I can make it. Come on, give me a break. Burn, motherfucker, burn. You can't be serious. You're wasting my time. Fucking block of ice. I will make you burn in a huge fucking bonfire well if this doesn't kill you well come on well Damn, I'm on fire. Well, I know that it melts, so I don't have to prove it to you. You can test this out yourself. And uh, it also melts by uh, lava and uh, torches. But this is really basic stuff, so. And then there's the third block, which is TNT, that you can lit. And it burns and 
it ignites and it blows but it's still cool okay so that's the flammability now let's move on to spread okay spread fire can jump this is a distance of three blocks between and uh, I will lit this and uh, according to my experience the fire will jump from that wall to that wall well it doesn't jump my experience sucks okay so here we have two two walls uh, and yeah I just gonna light this side uh, you have to excuse me I have a hiccup and the fire uh, gonna spread and then it will jump and it's two b block between and it jumps and this is the maximal distance it will jump if you have three it won't jump okay so this is how well fire is spreading upwards and uh, there is five blocks between and I made this test one time and it worked and then I tried it two times and it didn't work so let's see if it work this time when I'm recording well it looks good but no okay so let's say that in most cases five blocks in between is kind of safe so let's lower it to four blocks between and this should catch fire oh damn It's no good, sp good, no good spread. No, it's spreading better. And it catch fires. So four blocks works like a charm. Okay, so this is the last test we will do on flammability. This test is this test how. Um, fire spreads uh, in more than one direction uh, oh wait we will actually do one more uh, quick test then um, so I've put up these logs and they are no space in that direction and here is across no space here is one block here is one block in between and this is in the same level as um, this, this that's two blocks in between mm, let's see uh, this one is three blocks and this one is four blocks so I've tested this um, before of course I know that they will burn but it's not or should burn but it's not 100% because it depends on if the fire spreads down on the obsidian and how long it burns and so on so I just light this up and fly here so yeah the highest one burns and the other two doesn't burn or three uh, so 
so yeah somewhere in this area you're kind of safe uh, if you're playing with fire but you should always remember that uh, if you have a big wall it's not certain that the fire will uh, behave the same it would probably spread easier okay so the last test is Uh, spreading down I found out that it was not exactly the same as spreading up so let's light it on the upside well maybe it's stupid place yeah it spreads so I think 2 is the um, uh, ordinary spreading distance uh, it's possible that it spreads kind of easy if you have 3 between um, but yeah it's more up to probability than uh, than real facts so that's everything I have on uh, uh, basic fire uh, mechanics spreading and flammability so next video we will uh, probably I'm not sure look at the usage and fun with fire um, yeah so until next time have a great day